Something new to NBA 2K18 this year is the ability to have dual archetypes. Now, last year, you guys might remember you were either like a sharpshooter or a playmaker, or you had one single archetype that you could actually be, but now they've actually mixed things up. So if you want to be a sharpshooter, you also want to be able to play really good defense, or you want to be a post guy who has a pretty good mid-range to deep range shot, you have the ability to become one of those players. I'm going to show you guys an example of the point guard position. So right now, you can see shot creating, and if you mix shot creating with another shot creating as your secondary skill, you can get a crazy amount of Hall of Fame badges, I believe is around four or five if you double up on the same archetype that goes for pretty much everything so if you go and you end up being a post scorer who's also a dominant post scorer at your secondary skill you can have more hall of fame badges than if you're a post scorer who ends up having some sort of like mid-range shot or something of that nature now here again you can see i'm a shot creator for my primary skill and for my secondary skill i'm going to drive around a little bit but i'm ultimately going to decide to go with i believe the passing and ball handling which still gives me three hall of fame badges of ankle breaker tireless scorer and a couple of others now for your height mechanic it's pretty similar to last year the taller you are uh, maybe the better your standing dunk is as a point guard but if you start going shorter you get a little bit faster some of those things are increasing as well now here for your wingspan again that's going to alter your uh, your attributes as well and then for your weight the higher your weight is the bigger your strength in your box out the lower your weight the better your speed and things of that nature now, i'm going to be a right-handed point guard we're going to move down here i kind of couldn't figure out what number i wanted to be but i decided on number 33 for this one we're going to be from vcu got to rep my home state of virginia and there's a quick look at everything that i chose for my player now they're gonna give you one last option to say, are you sure you want to create this player? I said yes, and let's jump into the story. It's DJ. First name D, last name J. Let's I will go. get to you when I get to you. Come on, I'm trying to ball. I will get to you when I get to you. Cool. Uh, so I'm good then? You're good. Yeah, we'll announce the first game in just a little bit. But in the meantime, we can get this over there. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. You're so welcome. Yo, isn't that Ronnie 2K next to Russ? Yo, there's lots of people here. There goes Rachel from NBA 2K TV over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, maybe I should introduce myself. Yeah, why is that? Because I'm going to be on the cover of 2K one day. <laughs> you better pump your brakes, son. Yo, what up, ATM? Yo, hey, what up, dog? Pump my brakes? We only gas up around here, man. And who are you anyways? I'm DJ. You remember me? First name D, last name J. Oh, yeah, 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 DJ. Oh, hey, I know you. You the kid that quit ball for a couple years to try to be the next Funk Flex. Right. I mean, what happened? DJing ain't pan out for you? Now, what you need to be doing is worrying about making it to that showdown game at the end. That's where all the good players, all the dudes that's been real about this life, that's what we're going to do. And you are? Oh, you don't know? Nah, ATM. <laughs> ATM, that's pretty interesting, man. Is that because your game can only give out $200 at a time? <laughs> You're funny. It's because I'm money. Whenever you need it. We're going to find out. We'll see you out there, ATM. Listen up, everyone. Yo, listen up. Welcome to the Proving Ground. The games are about to get underway. So, players, listen for your assignments, then head on up to the courts. Get ready to ball. Let's go. Boom! Okay, so now you guys got a glimpse of what the story is like here very beginning. So we saw Ronnie 2 k on stage, obviously, but now it's time to go ahead to this court right here. I was kind of confused as to where to actually go, but there is a sign that says, pick your jump shot here. So I said, you know what? I should probably find that and move forward. Now, I do like that they actually give you kind of one of those ball uh, machines you can actually shoot and get your automatic shot from. So you can press triangle or if you're on Xbox One, press Y to choose your jump shot. I start out with Stephen Curry because he's got a pretty good release. It's pretty quick. And as you can see... Your boy is definitely late on this one, but I really, really like this. Rather than just seeing kind of an animation on the screen, you can literally go in from the first moment you play the game and figure out which jump shot to go with. Now, I saw Lonzo Ball. I had to go ahead and choose Lonzo Ball. I want to see what this jump shot is actually like. I will say overall for 2K18, I feel like the jump shots all have a quicker release than years past. I was trying out a lot to see how it worked. If you guys saw my My Team gameplay that I have on my channel as well, uh, that had a much quicker release than I anticipated. But I do end up choosing Lonzo Ball's jump shot. I take a couple of shots here. I do get one to go. So you know what? I think that's going to be good enough. After you choose your jump shot, you make your way back behind you a little bit. You go over here to this court. Now that you've done it, you can go in here with your signature jump shot and try to test yourself on the proven ground. So let's see what happens here. As I go out here, see if we can get a W. This is looking nice. Yeah. Yo! <laughs> hey, it's heated over here. We need to check this out. Okay. Oh man, they really want it. Hey, you want to go down there? I help side. I don't know. Put your ball. All right. If I got you on it, I'm on it. Okay. Got to go. Got to go. Switch, switch. Switch. I mean, I 
So now that we're actually in the court, you can see there's a bit of a rivalry between DJ and ATM. I feel like ATM is low-key trash, to be perfectly honest with you, but we got to prove it out here in the court. Can I actually get a W? Let's see. Now, a lot of you guys have questions on the gameplay. If you have a question on the gameplay, let me know down below in the comments below, or if you have a certain opinion on what you think the gameplay is like, if you want to know if certain features are there or are not there. Feel free to ask me and I'll be answering comments as much as I possibly can. And if you're enjoying this gameplay and you want to see more 2K gameplay come from me, make sure you guys crush that like button and subscribe. I got a little bit more left for you guys as well. And we're already down 4-0. I'm not too happy, so I hit him with a nice little crossover. Left my man in the dust. I pull up and I get the green release. Yes, I am still using Lonzo Ball's jump shot. It is uh, interesting to say the least, but I'm kind of getting the hang of it here and there. And they are going to bring the ball up. We're going to move around. This is the Sunsea Beach Ballers, exactly. You might see there uh, the mid-range logo. Dutch with that at the half-court marker. ATM makes a nice move, but it's a $20 move with a 10-cent finish. That one's not going to go in for him. So I kick the ball out to the corner. My man drives in, pulls up a mid-ranger. And the CPU is not making me look too good right now as they miss that one. Now, ATM's got the ball up top. He pulls up. The lefty shot is not going to go in. We are going to get the rebound. I'm going to push up to the left-hand side. I get the ball from my teammate. But look how physical the game is. I will say this. 2K has definitely stepped up their game with making the defenders have a little bit more physicality. I don't know if it's just in the proving grounds here or if it's going to be kind of in the 5v5 as well. But knowing 2K, if they do something somewhere uh, in the game, they're probably going to do it everywhere. So I would imagine that in 5v5, you're going to be just as physical. Maybe you can't get away with the fouls as much. But I do like that you're showing a lot of physicality here on the outdoor courts. Now we do end up getting down 6 to 4 here, but look at this splitting in defenders like this two safeties in Madden. I go right down the middle, tied up at 6 to 6. We're feeling pretty good about our performance right now. They're going to bring the ball up, and this guy is just taking his literal time. So they're going to bring up, they're going to set up the offense on the left-hand side. You got ATM down in the post. I'm guarding the guy up top. ATM's trying to get some position. He does have a guy. Looks like a maybe a mismatch, but he kicks it to the corner. I'm not even paying attention there. They do end up missing that one, and we're going to be okay. So getting the ball to me on the left-hand side, I pull up for another mid-ranger, probably what I would call a DeMar DeRozan 2. It's a long 2 that's contested. If I took a step back, it's probably a 3-pointer. Maybe that one goes in, but we do miss it. They've got the ball back. They kick it to the corner. Nice little pump fake, and the screen is set. One thing I do like as well about 2K18 is the off-ball movement is still incredible. A lot of that credit probably goes to my man, Dazar. This dude always makes sure that the offense, the defense are constantly in motion. They're setting up fantastic pieces there every single time. So I'm really happy with the off-ball movement in 2K. I'm sizing my guy up a little bit, going to the mid-range. I pull up for this one, and of course, we clank that one again. I'm not going to lie. My jump shot's here. I'm probably shooting a couple too many contested shots. They're not going in, but you know what? Neither are the CPU, so I'm perfectly fine with that, but I promise the offense gets a little bit better here shortly. So I kick it out to the corner. A man's going to pull up for a Kevin, a Kevin Love 3, and that's not going to go in. So we're struggling. Like, it's absolutely a struggle bus right now. They go for a floater. That one's going to miss, but a great tip in by ATM to make them have 10 points to only our 6 points. So we're down 4 at this point. So you know what? It's time to step it up. It's time to be a better teammate. It's time to get my shots, make sure my teammates are open. So we got the ball on the left-hand side. I think it's a little bit of a mismatch. We're going to drive in. We got our man going to the bucket. We throw a nice dime. He's going to get that one. Again, for my archetype, 
I'm a two-way sharp shooter right now, so I can pass, I can dribble, and of course, I can knock down the shot. I know I haven't hit a ton of shots with Lonzo Ball's jump shot, but yo, I'm still getting used to it. We'll see what we can do. Now, a tough shot on the left-hand side of the bucket there by number eight to get their lead back to four points. So again, we're down four. We'll see what we can do on offense. I'm going to push the tempo a little bit. So, ooh, a nice spin move. We're going to go down the middle again in the right-hand layup on the right-hand side. We get a double move plus a score, which moves our teammate grade up to a C+. Now, I got to say as well, I'm a big fan of the shot mechanic feedback they have in 2K right now. When you're shooting, it tells you if you're slightly late, if you're a little bit early, if you had good timing, if you were contested. They've done a really good job about telling you how and why you missed a shot or how and why you ended up making a shot. For me, the more information you can get in kind of a clean UI system, the better. And I'm happy to see them making advancements in that again this year. I've got a mid-ranger here. I pull that one up and I'm wide open. Somehow I clank it. My teammate does get it underneath the bucket. He pulls up an easy two points there to make it a two-point game right now. Look, we're right back into this. We're playing pretty good defense. If we can get a couple more rebounds, a couple more shots, we can close this one out pretty easily. Now they go back to ATM. He's been a monster so far today. He goes into the bucket. A tough shot, but he gets blocked. Number five gets it, though. Technically, they say it's an offensive rebound. I don't think that's an offensive rebound because he didn't even get it to the bucket. But he does get the point nonetheless. I've got the rock here. I move out to the right-hand side, and I'm blowing by defenders. Now, one thing I'm not too happy with on 2K18 so far is it kind of feels like on those passes that go to half court and you push the tempo, you can blow by the CPU defenders pretty easily if you ask me. So I hope they kind of adjust that and make it a little bit different. But still, it's not the worst thing in the world. Maybe it's just because we're playing kind of crappy defenders who don't have a good defensive rating overall. But still, it's something I like to see tuned a little bit, especially as we get further on in my career. But we don't know how that all plays out just yet. Now, a four-point deficit still. We get the ball on the left-hand side of the wing. A great dribble move. We go into the right-hand layup, and that one barely falls in. We've got 12 of our 16 points. Like, I may be being a ball hog in the moment, but honestly, I kind of feel like I have to be a ball hog to get my team to victory today. Now, they have the ball back in the wing with a two-point lead. He's dribbling a little bit. Our guy's trying to get post position. He's going to move back out. I like that again. Look, 2K does a good job of my guy. Didn't get the ball in the post. So he said, you know what? I'm going up top. They keep the offense moving and they keep things going. But he dribbles by us. We get a good strip, but that one's going to go out of bounds. The white team ended up touching it after it went out of bounds. So we're going to get the ball. Uh, they're going to get the ball back. We're going to be on defense against. They got the ball up top. They go to my guy. He's going to pull up for the mid ranger. No way that goes in. It just rims out and we get the rebound, padding our stats again. I'm trying to get to that B minus rating right now, but then I lose the rock. Dumbest thing I could have done all day. ATM goes with a nice spin move on us. Goes with the left hand layup. He misses it and we get the ball back. So again, a two point deficit. I kick it to my guy on the right hand side. He goes up for a tough layup. He does end up getting it. My grade dropped all the way down to a C. I do get a good, uh, good pass rating there, but it's not enough to get me back to a C plus. Excuse me, I got an assist, so I do go back up to a C plus, and we're feeling pretty fine. And a good up and under move there, and my guy just completely destroyed me. Like wasn't even close there absolutely destroy me so i give the ball back to the point guard kick it back to me in the left hand side i try to be a hero for the three that doesn't go the rebound doesn't go in either so we're down to atm's pushing the rock he goes up for the mid-ranger he shoots and that one is going to go in oh boy not the best look for us uh, what was with that dude calling all the fouls because it was I mean, a foul man y'all out there hacking all over the place y'all ain't playing ball y'all playing karate hey atm you high talking low money baby you like a pop-up bag. Whatever. Very impressive. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Your squad had quite the lean and hungry look out there. Yeah, we killed it. Oh, you killed it. But what's the next step? Learning to eat what you kill. Now, you guys are going to have to start making money at this at some point, right? So when you're ready to do that, you call me. You play hard, you get a car. And hey, you, hey, sir. Hey, man, don't be giving this dude no car. This dude is trash, man. I'm the dude that you need to know. I'd I love to know you. I'm going to get to know you, too. Yeah, very much so. And Trash, don't lose that card. Come on. Seriously, keep that close and give me a holler. You ain't earned At that. Yeah, no, no, come. Let's talk about you and your playing. Amazing skills. Amazing skills. You're clearly Agents. one of the best out there. You don't want to waste your time talking to them. 